Hi everyone, in this video we are going to talk about function of a random variable. Let us assume that x is a random variable. And we'll first look at a discrete random variable and then we'll study a continuous random variable. So first let's assume that x is a random variable that is discrete. <clears throat> now, we are not interested in x. We are interested in some function of x, say gx, and we want to find its properties. Example, expectation. Okay, so we are interested in, say, finding the expectation of gx. So we are interested in, say, expectation of g of x. And we want to compute that. Okay. We might also be interested in finding out the distribution of gx. So that is another thing that you might be interested in, distribution of gx. So gx is another random variable, which is a function of x. And we may be interested in finding out those things, its properties. So in this video, we're going to look at how to find the expectation. Okay. So let us assume that x is a discrete random variable. So x, say let's assume that x takes three values. 0, 1, and 2. So these are three values that x takes. Now probability of x equals 0 is 0 0.2. Probability of x equals 1 is 0 0.5. And probability of x equals 2 is 0 0.3. Now we are interested in a new random variable, y which is the function of gx. The function that we are going to consider is x squared. So y is a new random variable, which we define as x squared. Therefore, y is also a discrete random variable. And y takes value 0 square, 1 square, and 2 square. So these are the values that y takes. So y takes these values, which is essentially 0, 1 and 4. <clears throat> now probability of y equals 0 is going to be 0 0.2 because that is the probability of x taking the value of 0. Now probability of y taking the value of 1 is going to be 0 0.5 because that is the probability of x taking the value of 1. Now, probability of y taking the value of 4 will happen when x takes the value of 2. And that happens with probability 0 0.3. So this here is the PMF or the probability mass function of y. Now, what we have to do is we have to find the expectation of y. It's basically finding the expectation of x squared. Now to do that, this is the PMF of y. So y takes value 0 with probability 0 0.2. Takes value 1 with probability 0 0.5. And it takes value 4 with probability 0 0.3. So its expectation is this, and therefore we have 0 plus 0 0.5 plus 1.2, which is 1.7. And this is basically how we find the expectation of y, which is a function of x. Essentially, y is x squared. Now, let us consider the case where x is a continuous random variable. So x is a continuous random variable and we want to find a fun expectation of a function of x. Okay, So let us consider this problem. x is uniformly distributed over 0, 1. 
and we want to find out the expectation of x cube. So gx here is x cube. So that's what we want to find out. Now, to do that, let's assume y is equal to x cube. Now, what we have to do to find out the expectation of y is first calculate its CDF. So, because y is a continuous random variable, it is advisable to first find its CDF and then we can differentiate the CDF to get the probability density function. That's the usual process to get the PDF. And then once we get the PDF, we can integrate it to get the expectation after multiplying it with y. So let's try to do that. Now, the cumulative density function of y is basically probability of y less than equal to a. So f y a is equal to probability of y less than equal to a, which is nothing but probability of x cube less than equal to a, which we can write as probability of x less than equal to a to the power of 1 by 3. And because x is a uniformly distributed random variable between 0 and 1, this will turn out to be a to the power of 1 by 3. Now, here, a lies between 0 and 1. That much is clear. Now, how do we get f y a, the PDF? or the probability density function of y. That is gone by differentiating this um, random variable, the CDF. So f y a is essentially d f y a by d a. So if you do this, what we'll get is d of a to the power 1 over 3 by a by dA equals 1 over 3 a to the power minus 2 by 3 for all values. So Fya, so Fya equals 1 over 3 a to the power minus 2 by 3 for 0 less than equal to a less than equal to 1. So this is essentially the PDF of Y. Now that we've got the PDF of Y, we can go ahead and find the expectation of Y. Now expectation of Y for a continuous random variable is integrating between negative infinity and infinity A F Y A DA. Now, note that the PDF is only defined between 0 and 1. Outside it is actually 0. So this integration is simpler. You don't have to integrate from negative infinity to infinity. You just need to integrate between 0 and 1. And we substitute FYA, which is this. Now, as 1 over 3 is a constant, it comes out, this integration, 0 to 1, a to the power, 1 over 3. Let's, because we have an a here, and we have an a to the power minus 2 third. So we get a to the power 1 third. And if you integrate this, what we get is 1 over 3 times 3 by 4, a to the power of 4, by 3 and you have to put the limits that is 0 and 1. If you put those we will get this as 1 over 4. So what did we study in this video? We studied functions of random variables. We first looked at a discrete random variable where x was taking the values 
0, 1, and 2. And we found out what the probability distribution of y, v, y will be in this case, the PMF of y, when uh, y is a function of x, specifically y equals x squared. And then we also found out the expectation of y. Then we considered the case where x is a continuous random variable. And the uh, problem that we studied was x was uniformly distributed between 0 and 1. Then we con consider a new random variable, which is a function of x, specifically x cubed here. And then, because x was a continuous random variable, we first found out the CDF, Fy, uh, capital Fy, have from the CDF, we then did all, we took all this trouble of differentiating, and then we found the PDF of y. Having found the PDF of y, we then used it to find the expectation of y. So in this video, we studied functions of random variables. I hope you found this video useful. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.